हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ पेल्वी यूरेटरिक जंक्शन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन सो इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ पेल्वी यूरेटरिक जंक्शन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन मोस्टली इन चिल्ड्रन इफ देर इज गुड रिनल function without any complications then we can do a conservative therapy will be sufficient if the patient's renal function deteriorates then we can do a pyeloplasty or nephrectomy is done first pyeloplasty a pyeloplasty can be done either by open method or by endoscopic method so first open methods of pyeloplasty in the open methods the first type is andersen heinz or dismembered pyeloplasty this andersen heinz pyeloplasty is the gold standard technique for pelvic ureteric junction obstruction so in andersen heinz pyeloplasty what do you do here there is large redundant pel pelvis is seen because of the because of the hydronephrosis the pelvis which you see is large and redundant pelvis is seen in the uh, pelvic ureteric junction with high insertion of ureter so this is mainly done for large pelvises with high insertion of ureter we can use this andersen heinz pyeloplasty the main advantages of using this andersen heinz pyeloplasty is it has a broad applicability is present with including the preservation with the help of this andersen heinz pyeloplasty we will preserve the anomalous vessels can be preserved at the same time you can excise the pathological ureteral pelvic junction can be excised and you can also appropriately reposition the successful reduction actually what do you do see it's simple uh, in andersen heinz pyeloplasty we will make an incision like this and like this and you will remove this extra part of the pelvis okay and after that this extra part of the pelvis is removed so this part is anastomosed with this part so that the pelvis size will decrease so that is done in andersen heinz pyeloplasty here because of this andersen heinz pyeloplasty we can preserve the anomalous vessels obviously we are excising the pathological ureteral pelvic junction is excised and then we will reposition it with successful reduction because we are positioning this normal ureter we are anastomosing this normal ureter to here so that the continuity can be well maintained so this is done for if there is large redundant pelvis with high insertion of ureter next for smaller pelvis with pelvic ureteric junction we can do this technique even for smaller pelvis with pelvic ureteric junction which is important for good uh funnel drainage and for intrarenal pelvis also you can use but if there is 2 cm if the stricture is more than 2 cm it is a contraindication for andersen heinz pyeloplasty because you cannot remove the stricture which is more than 2 cm long area it is very difficult so it is a contraindication for andersen heinz pyeloplasty then we also have endoscopic procedures in the endoscopic procedures first we have endopyelotomy endopyelotomy is in this we can either do percutaneous or retro this endopyelotomy is a percutaneous or ret retrograde technique and it is associated and it is mainly advised if there is any associated renal stones we can use balloons dilators and lasers can be used there is foley's yv pyeloplasty is also seen okay this foley's yv pyeloplasty is an open technique it is actually an open technique and this is mainly done if it is best for high insertion of ureter then we have flaps and spirals can also be used this is also an open technique so we have so we have 
two three open techniques one we have anderson heinz pyloroplasty foley's yv plasty and flaps that is spiral or vertical flaps so these are open techniques whereas these are endoscopic procedures endopyelotomy and balloon uh, balloon lasers or balloon dilatation are endoscopic procedures thank you and thank you for watching